Welcome to Math Window. Simplify. Square root of 13 minus square root of 105. Hmm, so nice. However, these two numbers are so strange. What shall we do? Of course. Firstly, for the simplifying, we always hope that the thing under the square root or the term under the square root can be written as a squared term. Question. Why is here minus? Since here is minus. We know that a and b must have square roots. So, we hope that it can be written as square root of x minus square root of y, all squared. x is equal to a squared and y is equal to b squared. There are only a definition. It is not important. It expanded. It is square root of x all squared, it is x. And then plus square root of y all squared is y. And then minus 2 times square root of x times y. And then, of course, x plus y, 13. 2 times square root of xy, square root of 105. Now, a problem is coming. How can I solve this problem? Can we find a solution? Square root of 105. It should be equal to 2 times square root of xy. And we know that 2 times square root of xy, hmm, it can be equal to square root of 4 times xy. That means 105 should be equal to 4 times xy. So that's the question. If we hope that x and y are integers, then it definitely won't work. Since 105 is not divisible by 4, so what should we do? It is neither divisible by 4 nor by 2. You can continue by using this method. You can build a system of equations. However, the solution pair x, y, or the solution pairs of x, y, won't be integers. You can solve this question by continuing using this method. However, it will be very hard. Now, let's try using another method. This 4 is a problem. So what should we do? We only hope that if there was a 2 in front of the square root, it will be perfect. Actually, there isn't. So what should we do? Now, we can multiply 13 minus square root of 105 by 2 and then divide by 2. So, a good trick. That means I can multiply this thing by 2. Then it will be 26 minus 2 times square root of 105. And then over 2. So that's it. This 2 on the denominator. Ah, we don't have to care about it. So then, we only have to care about the numerator under the square root. 26 minus 2 times square root of 105. Now we only have to find two numbers, whose multiplication is 105 and addition is 26. Now, these two numbers are 5 and 21. 26, it can be written as 5 plus 21, and then minus 2 times, 105 can be written as 5 times 21. So then, The numerator is actually 
square root of 5 squared plus square root of 21 squared and then minus 2 times 5 times 21. And this numerator is of course square root of 21 minus square root of 5 all squared. So that's the numerator. So it is square root of square root of 21 minus square root of 5 all squared and then divided by 2. So then it can be written as a, it is only equal to square root of 21 minus square root of 5 over square root of 2. Hmm, this is the answer, however, I don't like it because it is ugly, very, very ugly. We know that it is always ugly when a square root appears on the denominator. Now, what shall we do? Of course, it is very ugly, the square root of 2. It is very, very ugly. Now, we can rationalize the denominator. So, multiply the numerator and the denominator by square root of 2. The numerator, square root of 24 minus square root of 10. And the denominator, it is the prettiest, 2. The answer is square root of 42 minus square root of 10 over 2. Have we got it? And don't forget to give a thumbs up. Subscribe to me for more videos and we'll see you next time. Bye!